So I'm Jim Bryant, the co-founder and CEO of Trajectory. And can you explain what Trajectory does? Sure. We're helping publishers from around the world uh, distribute their books as e-books, and, and we're helping uh, to address the issue of, of discoverability on a global scale. Okay. And when you say uh, address the issue of discoverability, what exactly do you mean by that? It's a, it's a very muddled term in this day and age. It is, it is indeed. And, um, and we tend to think of the discoverability problem as uh, being defined by the fact that there's so many books that are now suddenly available uh, for the first time in history. So uh, today, as publishers release um, their immense backlist as bo of books, as e-books, um, and as indie authors are, are pouring on this, to the stage, uh, there's suddenly uh, millions of books that are available for uh, readers to instantly download. So finding the book that, that a reader may be interested in, in accessing uh, is becoming more and more problematic. The other compounding factor is that global publishers are now finding a way um, to distribute their books in either their original language or in, in localized languages um, to new points of distribution around the world. So. Uh, while English is, is, is probably the, still the dominant language, um, we're finding that, that there are, for example, uh, uh, Chinese in the United States or Chinese in Africa that are very interested in buying uh, Chinese language books. And yes. they now have the opportunity of, of, of doing that uh, with the push of a button. And so the issue of discoverability is how does a reader find a book that they're interested in? And that's really what we've been focused on from, from a technology standpoint. What kind of metrics are you analyzing, or what kind of metrics are you producing from the data you have that, um, that aids this process? Can yeah, you give me some so, examples? Yeah, sure. So, we're, I think, one of the first companies to actually um, develop algorithms that can read a book. So, we started in English, and our algorithms are, are looking at a vast array of statistical information, um, such as the... Uh, the number of words, the number of unique words, the number of parts of speech that exist in a book. Um, we're looking at, at more complex things too, including the, the complexity of the language that's used in the book, the average grade level uh, that's required to read the book and understand it, which becomes really important when you're um, thinking of a reader whose first language isn't uh, the language that your book is published in, who may be interested in, in reading a book in another language. And if they have a, a core competency but not an advanced competency in that language, it may be easier for them to select a book that, that matches what they're looking for. But beyond that, what we're doing is, is, is identifying what the book is about based okay. on the keywords that appear in the book, based on the um, uh, people that are mentioned, individual places, the other key entities uh, that are mentioned, and combining those along with dozens of other signals that we identify within a book, we can generate recommendations to the closest matching book. So the, really the key variables that we offer through our algorithms are uh, identifying the, the structure and complexity of a book, identifying the keywords or what topics are discussed in the book, okay. and being able to generate recommendations to a broad array of additional books. May I ask, how is this implemented into a search functionality? Because that's an awful lot of factors for yeah. any, if I go to a search engine, I may not be thinking in terms of what kind of feeling am I looking to get from a book today. Yeah. So I'm curious how that, that translates into real world use. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, by looking at, at a, a single book on our site, you're able to, to, to uh, for example, see the flow of sentiment uh, that exists for a particular book and find other books that have a similar match. So right now, the, this information is, is locked up on our site, our okay. trajectory. And uh, today, uh, most significantly, we announced the availability of the German language uh, books that we've started to process. Okay. And we now have uh, English, uh, Chinese, and, and German books. Um, one of our goals is to be able to, to do cross uh, language comparisons. So if someone likes a book yep. in German, uh, what is the closest matching book in and Chinese. So to answer your question, though, it, it's largely through the recommendations that we okay. offer that will show uh, books. That so are, all that similar. will be in the background, and somebody yeah. will say, I, prefer, "I like something like this," and you'll find a match. For that. Exactly. And uh, what we're trying to do now is work uh, this information into the global book supply chain okay. to make it available to publishers to use to uh, 
be able to help them market books that are similar. Yes. Um, let's say, for example, on, the, on this instance, that there's a holiday and uh, a publisher with a large backlist is trying to identify all the books that, that, that align to holiday themes. Um, they can do this really quickly. Yes. Um, at, at the back end, let's assume this is uh, a retailer and uh, the retailer is interested in, in being able to recommend books uh, that, that correlate to a holiday or, or correlate to um, a, uh, a reader's previous purchases. They're able right. to do that using the content of the book. Excellent. And also, you're, you're involved in the book supply chain. Yeah, very mistaken. much so, um, on, on distribution. That's so right. we're, we work with a broad number of publishers to help them with what we refer to as additive distribution. Okay. So virtually every publisher that we work with has distribution of some sort. Yes. Um, but Trajectory has uh, 350 points of distribution around the world, including um, bringing books into China. Okay. And we can help publishers get into China now, um, really for the first time on, a, on the digital front. And the idea is to make that a frictionless uh, introduction. Exactly. So the a publisher could can do that on their own today, okay. for sure. Uh, but it may involve, uh, today it may involve uh, months or years of negotiation with the mm -hmm. Chinese government to get the to be able to have the agreement to import books and with the retailers in order to be able to um, carry their books individually. So, so you're, for a foreign publishing entity, you're offering the opportunity to get into this market at least at a digital level and be distributed to it. Ex and with this enhanced search functionality. Exactly, Hopefully exactly. Supplementing. So, yeah, so our use case is, is um, Macmillan and Penn Macmillan. Okay. Um, and I'll toss in MIT Press as well. Okay. We, the Chinese are very interested in, in um, academic press books right now. Um, what we're doing for those companies is we're taking their books and making them available for the first time uh, on digital platforms, yes. such as Dang Dang, uh, which has just opened up an English language store. Um, and we're encouraging them to take other foreign languages as well. And we're providing Dang Dang with the uh, keywords that we've generated that have okay. translated into Chinese. Uh, so the, if someone is searching for, uh, say, the, the equivalent of a, a book involving saline, yes. uh, and they use the, the Chinese word for saline, they will be able to find the book, uh, the English language book. Indeed, indeed. So they can search in their own natural native language. Exactly. Okay. That's making a difference. If somebody wanted to experience this firsthand, where can they find you on the, on the web? Uh, Trajectory.com. And the German edition is available today, and the Chinese edition is available today as well. Thank you for that Thanks, Ed. information. Very <laughs> yes. interesting. Yes.